Hello guys, welcome back to uh, my channel, to all my kings and my queens out there in YouTube land. Welcome back. Well, I am coming to you guys with a uh, makeup video today. Um, the video I made and I discarded. Um, I'm just going to try to remake that one over. That didn't turn out as good as I wanted to. So, we're going to do this all over again. So, right now what I am using is Elf. This is a brown sugar uh, exfoliation stick to exfoliate the dead skin off of your lips. So... This is what I do every time I get ready to do my makeup, which I am out, guys. Look at that. <laughs> I'm digging the last little bit I can get up out of here. I love this stuff. I have to pick me up another one. So I just let that sit on there. Okay, guys, the video that I do want to make is a about um, menopause basically um, women who go through menopause go through the hot flashes uh, and uh, want to keep their makeup on I'm going to show you guys how I do my makeup because I went through menopause very early in my life so in my I say my late 30s I uh, went through, started going through my menopause. So, and um, keeping makeup on was very, very hard. Now, I don't have everything waterproof that I'm going to use today, but your best friend, ladies, is waterproof everything. When you're going through hot flashes and, and, and night sweats or whatever, you know, whatever you're going through, trust me. I'm speaking from experience, um, yes, those hot flashes, I call them my private summers when I do go through those, yes I do, so I'm going to show you step by step how I apply my makeup so it can stay on, but um, the foundation, I do not have a waterproof foundation. So I'm just going to use a 24-hour foundation. Basically, what I used to use back in the day was a color stay from the drugstore, actually. So we're going to get started here. And um, I do want to give two people, two peoples a shout out before I get started. One is Cav Hex. I hope I'm not but butchering his name. He is a very very good guy. He uh, talks about relationships, telling all the queens how to deal with uh, relationships. He's very intuitive. You guys should check out his channel. Um, he is, uh, he's, he's just an excellent, excellent soul. I watch him a lot. And he do give very good advice. So I want to give Cav a shout out. Keep doing what you're doing, Cav. Uh, I love it when people tell the truth. Yes, I'm all about that truth. And I'm all about that uh, uh, being yourself, um, being authentic. I'm all about that. And another guy, R.C. Blakes. Robert R.C. Blakes. He is a pastor. He is very, very good. Very good. Anything he uh, uh, talks about, he pulls it from the Bible. And he, he just talks about everyday life. What we all need to hear. I have learned a lot from uh, R.C. Blakes. I actually adopted him as my spiritual father. You know, I came up in my life with not a father in my home. So, I adopted him as my spiritual father. So, you can too. Check out R.C. Blakes. He uh, wrote three, 
three books. I just want to tell you guys real quick about these. Uh, one is about soul ties. And one is about the father-daughter talk. And one is about queenology. Yes, ladies. You need to really check out R.C. Blake's. Okay, guys. I'm going to get everything together. What I need. Because I think I'm going to do my eyebrows a little bit different. I want to try to powder. So, let me get all my stuff uh, going here. And, um, yes, let's get started here on this video. Um, yeah, I just really, you know, had to give these guys a shout out. Because they are very good at what they do, guys. Yes, they are. I I just couldn't, you know, not shout them out. Mm -mm. So I am just looking for a brush right now. I am taking this uh, color mat I got from the dollar store. It's two colors in here. One, for, you know, for the bras. This is for bras. I never really tried. A powder so I want a more natural looking bra oh I forgot one thing guys I put on my lips this is too cute they have the Vaseline this is a uh, lip therapy and it's in a rose I love this stuff I use this stuff every day just take a little bit of my nail here Put it on my lip because when you're wearing those matte lipsticks you want something um very you know moist on your lips because the matte lipsticks tend to dry your uh lips out so um i'm going to go in with this powder here guys and um stay tuned keep watching don't go nowhere because hey hmm let's let's see how this is going to come out because i just want to tell you how i apply my makeup so stay tuned guys up all right out there kings and queens i am just going in i already just did my bras you know everybody you know everybody should know how to do their bras so I'm just still going in with a MAC concealer. This is a uh, NW48. Uh, just taking a Real Techniques uh, buffer brush and just putting it on my eyelid. Um, now, ladies, for the video that I am making, I do not have a waterproof concealer. I don't even know if they sell a waterproof concealer but if they do that would be your best friend a waterproof concealer so in the meantime i am using mac uh like i said in w48 just concealing my eyelids making sure uh my eyelids is all one color and uh, I love this. I done had this for two years. And I still have not hit pan on it. Um, ladies, uh, if you don't have the MAC concealers, go get them. They're just $20. $20. You can't go wrong with those at all. Very, very good concealer. Now I'm going to take my powder. My custom made powder that I Put all my powders in one little container to uh, get my correct uh, color I would want. You buy these powders and sometimes you know you have your correct color and sometimes you don't. So I did a little mixing and to get my correct color. So, and that worked out very good. So, I'm just putting the powder on there and just brushing the excess off of my eyes right now. 
setting them like this so they will not crease when you put your eyeshadow on and um it will help your eyeshadow stay on all day now like i said ladies when you're going through those hot flashes you need a waterproof concealer i'm going to find out do they even sell a waterproof concealer so i'm just blending this in just a little bit around my bras here uh the powder i like it but i did have to add uh a little bit of brown eye uh bra pencil into that so uh stay tuned ladies i have to go do something uh for my mom I have to go uh take care of her real quick and i will uh be right back guys so stay tuned okay what i'm getting ready to do now is go in with my primers you know you all you do want to have a very very good primer when you are dealing with hot flashes so the best primer it is to go in with is that Becca but I don't have that so I'm going in with baby skin to fill in my pores and I have been loving this right here if you guys can see it the NYX Angel Veil primer um, I have been really enjoying this primer right here love that primer but the baby skin, I seem to just cannot get away from this baby skin primer. It feels so good on the face. And all you need is a little bit. I put it right in here. Down my nose. And a tiny bit up here on my uh, forehead down here. And just take the rest. Now, you can just go in with that and, um, nothing else. Because I used to just go in with that and nothing else. I love this baby skin primer. If you cannot afford the high-end primer, uh, the poor, perfect, perfect, matter of fact, it's right here, guys. If you cannot afford this one, I think this is the dupe for this right here. I really like this. I use this more than I use the uh, Pore Perfecting Primer. So, after that, I goes in just with Angel Veil. Sometimes you gotta... Oh, <laughs> look how it's popping up, guys. Oh, Lord. Need to be shook up. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So I, I believe this is a water-based primer. And I just put... A little bit of that on too so I put my primer in and then I let that uh, soak in and sit on my face and soak in but this guys is a very very good primer um, it's like the hourglass primer very you know that primer I think is very very expensive but this is just like it I love this primer so, yes. This, I think, cost me 16 at Sephora. I got this at Sephora. So, if you want to invest in this primer, it's a very good primer for, uh, for a mature skin. I love it. Yeah, it got all over my hands, too. Mm-hmm. Because I have different uh, primers. I promise myself I am not buying no more primers. Whatever they send me in my Boxy and my Ipsy. That will be it. Uh, because it is time for me to start uh, building my bank account back up. Yes, it is. It's time, it's time, it's time. So, 
primer on. I'm going to let that sit in. And when we come back, we will start with our eyes, guys. All righty, guys. We are back. And the palette we are going to go in today is this sugar palette here. I got off of AliExpress for, I think, $10. So I am taking my angle brush, looks like that, and um, hmm, Jesus, I don't have my glasses on so I can't really tell you the name of the colors, but I can hold them up, point to them. This color right here, we're going to start with this color, uh, Glaze. And I'm going to take that and just put use that for my bra bone color. You guys know I always start with my bra bone color. So I want to get that in there like so. Just a little bit. And this is a matte color. Go in with my matte color here. All right. that after taking that in there hope you guys can see that I'm going to go in with my uh, 113 brush it's a big big fluffy brush like that and um, for our transition color ooh, what do we want to go in with uh, we're gonna try hot chocolate out of this palette it looks like this take a little bit of that mm -hmm. and we're going to tap that right above where I put the bra bone the uh, bra bone color at and we're just going to transition that right into our eye socket right in there wow I have not used this palette in a while. It is this palette is uh, the dupe for the Sweet Peach palette by Too Faced, guys. So after I'm getting this in, I like it a little darker right here to radiate that right there. So I'm going to go and do the other eye and uh. Okay, guys, <clears throat> the next color we're going to go in with, let me see, can I find it? I think it is brownie. That is this dark brown color right here. We're going to take that and put it right here in our crease. We're going to have to build this color up a little bit here. we are so just building that up take your time ladies uh there's no rush when you're doing your makeup well for me it's not and um make that a little intense right there in that corner same brush oh this brush is the lamar one Ten I am using and I'm going to go into this lighter brown color next to the uh, hot chocolate that we put it on the top and I'm putting that right on top of that dark brown right in there just to get rid of that harsh line just blend that out we're gonna try to do a cut crease tonight you know, I am not good at doing those, but, uh, hey, I have to learn sometime, people, huh? Alrighty, so that is done for now. Alright, ladies, we're going to go in. Let me find a concealer. My hair is all over the place. Yes, this is the wig that I made, guys, uh, with the lace front. It's very long in the back. Uh, 
I was going to curl it all, but didn't feel like it. I just probably a curl it with my uh, those little wand things. So um, I want to probably cut my crease with. Um, put on my glasses this time so I can tell you guys the color. Yes, I'm going to cut my crease with fun. So I'm going to go off camera to do that. And uh, let me find my brush. Okay, guys. What I did, this is how I cut my crease. That's how it came out. The um, LA Pro Concealer. I think that was a, just a tad bit too thick, so I took the MAC Pro Long Wear and I finished cutting it with that. Okay, what I'm going to do, I did finish this eye over here. I'm taking this light color right here. It is a shimmer, and I am taking that and just setting that in the corner of my eye right here just packing it on that is a beautiful like a peachy gold color so I just want to just pack that on right here. yeah I have to practice with my cut crease guys this is the second cut crease I did and it still didn't come out right but practice make perfect that's one I could never conquer so I'm going into um, I'm trying to see these little words without my this is called mocha right here so this is a little darker uh, golden color this is a uh, beautiful I'm loving this uh, palette I have to use this palette more often so we're just going to drag that over just a little bit uh, and there this is how I did the other eye just uh, packing that uh, darker like a goldish brown color Wiping my brush back off, going back in with, actually, the lighter color is Cinnamon Sugar. And packing that lighter color back on and just dragging that up in there. I'm loving that. And I took the little, this is a number four, it came out of our Ipsy bag. And I am taking a little bit. Lord, this real dark burgundy color right here and just tapping that right there on the eye on our outer V and just bring it in just a little bit I like how intense that is guys love it love it I know you're not supposed to do that when you got a cut crease going on, but hey, <laughs> there's no rules in makeup. So this is the eye look up close. All right, I think I am done so far with this palette, but I do still have to do under, so I will keep my pencil brush out and my angle brush out. Now, what we're going to go in, I am going to go off and I am going to color correct to save some time. I am going in to Super Stay by Maybelline. Yeah, let me put my glass on people so I can tell you guys what this is. Okay, yes, this is Super Stay Full Coverage, and this is by Maybelline 24-Hour Foundation. You get 1.0 fluid ounce. Uh, one is Mocha 360, and the other one is, oh my goodness, Coconut 350. 
55. And this is what they look like, guys. Love these. They stay on for 24 hours. I did do a 24-hour test on those if you guys want to check out that video. So, I am going to get my foundation brush down here. And um, put this foundation on. Color correct. Put my foundation on. And I wanted to come back because I am doing a different um, method for color correcting. I am going in just with the LA Pro Concealer Fine and um, just patting that up under my eyes. Normally, I would go in with a red the orange color corrector um, to conceal the dark circles up under my eyes. I am using a concealer brush to do this with. Uh, the one I got from Walgreens. Loving this brush. Um, it feels good on the face. Love this brush. Oh. Uh, right just going on the side i haven't put my liner on yet but i am getting ready to do that now for you guys i always go in with an elf liner now another thing guys there is waterproof eyeliner i do have one i just don't feel like digging with it so when you are putting it on your makeup for um for you know uh hot flashes you want to use a waterproof like i said waterproof everything is your best friend so i am going to go in nice and slowly with small strokes i always start in the middle of my eye and then i go in real tiny down there and the enter the beginning part of my eye and take it all the way over just doing little strokes uh we're gonna do a wing liner i always wear a wing line i love my wing lines so and i'm going to take it right up here Bring it down and just go right in just like that, guys. I had to practice. doing a wing liner. Let me quit talking before I really mess up. Okay. There you have it. I take it right up under here and if you don't get it straight ladies, you can always clean it up with concealer because that's what I do. So I wanted to show you guys how I uh, go in with my wing line. Now guys, it's a little trick that I do do. I do wanna show you guys, and I uh, put my foundation on. I always use a brush because I love the full coverage uh, and I love the look that uh, the brush gives you. Then I wet my beauty blender got this bottle from the dollar store just so I can just spray my beauty blender down. I don't have to get up and go put any water on it. So I just get it like semi wet and I take this is my bigger beauty blender I love to use and I just pat my makeup in after I'm done going over it with my brush. Now, this is what helps the makeup really, really stay on. Patting it in your skin, ladies. I'm going to pat it in as good. 
good as you can get it. Now we're going to conceal real quick. Uh, you can conceal with anything. The LA Pro Concealers. Um, you can, you know, whatever floats your boat. But I am gravitating towards uh, Tarte Shape Tape. I do like the look that it gives me. Um, I just go up under the eyes just a little bit here. Not much. Sometimes I can go overboard. We all have done that. <laughs> Ladies, trust me, we have all went overboard. So just a little bit there down the nose. It's right here. It's right there. And I usually would cut where I'm going to put my contour at. And right around in this area. Yes, I do take that uh, concealer down and go right around in that area. So, uh, yes, love this. But the LA Girl concealers are very, very good uh, to use also. Um, the contour I'm going to go in with tonight is uh, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Uh, just take that down my nose, right in there, right in here. Ladies know our skin is not a uh, same color all over, so we're just going to uh, put a little contour around our face here, and. This stick I have had uh, for a while. Let's see. I still have a lot to go. So, uh, guys, these are uh, 25 at Sephora. If you don't own one, I suggest this is your best friend, especially for us chocolate women. Love, love, love this. You would love it, too. If you don't have it, go purchase it, guys. It is very 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 good yes like I said for makeup uh, if I see something on sale I might purchase it but if it's not on sale I am not going to be purchasing too much makeup uh, right now Nope, nope, nope. You just want to get a couple of things saved up, trying to save up for um, a couple of things I want to do in my house. So just blending that in. Now I will go and blend in this contour. Just patting it, uh, blending that up. I love this uh, big old beauty blender. It covers so much area. Yeah, I got my baby here. Put my baby here down. When I put this unit on, um, kind of. Oh, look at that. All right, ladies. Now. What I do next here, I just wanted to show you guys that. Blend this in a little bit more. I take that powder. Now the powder is already gonna brighten this up a little, just a little, little bit uh, here. I just take that and go in. Try to go in with a little bit, not too much, ladies. Not too much. But like I said, waterproof. Apply your makeup like you would uh, apply it every day, but just in waterproof. Waterproof. That's what you want, ladies. So, this powder. I put around my eyes, wherever I put my concealer, that is where I'm putting this powder at. That is it. 
Then I take, <clears throat> I just want to show you guys these steps here. Normally you can take a translucent powder and put it all over the face. That would help uh, a lot. Um, I have this black, con I mean black radiance contour palette here. And this is a powder, so I'm just going to set my contour with this powder. I wanted to take you guys step by step with me, kind of on this, how I do my makeup. But when I do it, it's a lot of stuff. The medication that I am on for my uh, menopause, I don't sweat anymore, so thank God for that. Uh, so, I quit buying a lot of, you know, waterproof makeup. Um, I just started buying, uh, you know, regular, regular makeup. So, I'm going to take that lighter color and the Black Radiance palette and just throw right here on my cheeks. We're going to do this real fast because we are all most done and what I want to do I got this out of my ipsy bag and I really can't see that because that is so little but it looks like this uh, it's just an eyebrow pencil basically and I am going to take this and put this on my waterline right in here right up under here I like this because it glides on very smoothly yes it do now for this lady i don't know if they have a waterproof eyebrow pencil uh i have not found one yet yet and if you guys know if they sell them put them down in the comment box i would love to know because uh my eyes sometimes do water. So we're gonna go back up under the eyes with uh, our sugar palette. And the color we want to go up under, I want to take that, tap into that uh, deep dark burgundy that we put here on the side. And I just want to tap that up under. I like so I think that's a beautiful color for chocolate women I love it um, just tapping that in like so I don't want too much up under that eye you know we don't want to uh, you know put too much up under the eye we are you know women over 50 we need a little bit but not a lot so i'm gonna wipe that brush and go back into cinnamon sugar that was the the um bright color i put in the enter v in my eye and we're going to just put that right in here like so and that's what that looks like now I can say I can close my palette, put those brushes back, and if you want to read, you can take a pencil brush here, and you can smudge it out a little bit, right up under here, and just smudge it right on out, there you have it, right there. Now, I am going to find a blush, ladies, and the blush that I am going to wear, the blush in the highlight that I am going to put on tonight, will be something from the dollar store. If I can get it out, my goodness. Okay, let me see if I'm, what color I want. Oh, wow. Let me see. Nope, don't want that color. That is too, too, too. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, 
I'm going to go in with this LA color blush right here. This is um mm, what color is this? Well guys, it's more like a uh peachy color. I'm gonna just put that right here on our just a little bit, little dab of dewy. And here we have it. These blushes are very nice. They three dollars at your family dollar, guys. Love, love, love that. And um, we're going to go in with a LA girl um, highlighter tonight. Mm -hmm. Let me find my highlighter brush. I have all my brushes in front of me. I don't know why. I just didn't get a contour brush and just be using my contour brush. Um, come on, highlighter brush. Where are you? My little pink brush. We got these brushes in our FC bag. I love these brushes, guys. So we're going to take this and tap. Don't go on too. Woo! You guys know how I feel about too much highlighter, but hey, I am loving these highlighters. They do have a little bit of glitter in them, but uh, hey, you deal with them. I can deal with that. Just uh. I'm really liking these. These were three bucks, guys. Three bucks. You can't beat that. Lower Cupid's bow and let us get a lipstick. And uh, let's powder down. And we will be done. I'm going to go in with my uh, MAC powder. You guys always know what powder I'm going to go in with, pretty much. I'm going to start switching up a little bit. I have a lot of different powder. So, I goes over it with the powder just to bring everything down. And you want to set everything, guys. Everything. Now, your best friend to guys is a setting spray. The setting spray is going to take this powdery look away that we have on our face. Yes. What do you guys think so far? I'm loving the look. Now, this Maybelline in the 40. Love it. I have been taking that lately, just tapping into that, and just like, just around the perimeter, you know, right up in here, just take a light dusting, just if your highlight is a little too, you know, just bring it down, I love this color here, guys, oh, God. I love it. Oh. So, two powders. This is the Fit Me in the number 40. I love it. It is so, if you guys can see that, it is just chocolate, chocolate girl's best friend, that Maybelline. Yes, it is. So, guys, uh, the setting spray we're going to go in with, I've been loving this. L.A. Colors, guys. L.A. Colors. I don't know. I've been loving this right here. So, I'm just going to spray this on real quick. Hold it away from my face. Mmm. Now, guys, your best friend when you're having hot flashes. That's why I always have my little fans with me. I carry these everywhere. Even though I don't have my hot flashes 
like I used to, I still carry them everywhere because you never know, even the medicine that I do take, um, I still do uh, have a hot flash now and the Okay. Sometime I like to just pat it in. Let that get into my skin. See, setting sprays. That is a good setting spray. I really like that. Um, to me, almost a dupe for the MAC Fix Plus. Let me tell it. Because I love my MAC Fix, Fix Plus. It takes away that powdery. Um, that powdery. Thing. So we're going to get a lipstick here. And we're going to be done. Let me see. What lipstick I want to go in with? Just something, um, hmm. This is a cat suit, uh, wet and wild also. We're just going to, uh, hmm. Let's put a little bit of that on. A new lip. This is not a mat. Uh, I am going to. Really, I don't have to. But I am. Normally, I go in with two, three lipsticks. But I'm going to get my box. And uh, I want to find a brown. Um, a brown or. lip liner. Okay, I think I have a brown here. I did this backwards, guys. Uh, forgive me. <laughs> so, we're just going to uh, put that brown liner on like so. Yeah, normally, I uh, put my liner on first, but this is how they look, look like, this is what it looks like, my hair, the curls that fell out, <laughs> you know, I had this on basically all day, you know, I had it, you know, when it's human hair, when you curl it, you guys already know the curls they will fall out. Um, but this is the final look, guys. Your best friend, ladies, is setting spray. I don't have a comb in here with me, so I'm just going to finger comb it. This is how uh, that came out. I'm just going to leave that side down basically it's on there I will just brush it down and uh, wrap it up tonight and uh, yep there you have it this side there is no curls on that side at all but anywho this is the look um, I hope you guys like it I, uh, I like it. I like the way it came out, guys. So, um, yes. So, guys, um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see more content from content from me hit the little bell and um yes i am going to start filming on a more consistent basis 
and um yeah so uh this is a uh, i think this can be an everyday look guys i like it comment down in the box tell me how you like the look you guys stay strong out there stay blessed and uh hey like i said those two guys that i shouted out check out their channel guys check out their channel because it is time for us queens to sit back on our throne and take our power back yes it is so always remember you are worth every every bit of what you want you go for what you want guys don't let nobody hold you back don't let nobody get in your ear uh the only person you have to please and make happy is the man up there that is god our father that is it anybody else if you want to be happy hey go for it guys because hey that's the only way you're gonna have peace so uh everybody is getting out of these you know getting getting rid of uh toxic friends toxic people you know toxic relationships this thing is hey don't nobody want that anymore in their life everybody want more healthier relationships everybody want more healthier you know friendships and that's what we're going for don't nobody everybody is tired of being hurt i know i am so hey it's time to take my power back and i want you guys to do the same thing take your power back and sit on your throne and be happy god bless we'll connect with you in my next video don't forget to subscribe guys see you in my